Welcome to the channel guys. So I've been kind of lacking on my posting for the channel because I uh, really don't have that much I can do at once on my cars. Uh, right now I've got the D150 in the garage. It's all tore apart and I'm waiting on some parts so I can put it back together. So what I decided to do to kind of do some filler and kind of answer some questions, I'm going to start doing product reviews of like Wish and Timu and Amazon, just stuff I find online. And this setup's impromptu. I'll try to be a little more professional with the next one. But I'm kind of in a hurry right this second. So this is what I'm working with. What we have here is a dent puller kit off of Timu. This kit was $11.88 plus shipping. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Timu is kind of like Wish.com. It's cheap Chinese stuff. Um, it's basically what you find on Amazon, but a little cheaper. It's a little higher grade than Wish. But this kit here comes with a glue gun, glue sticks. Um, these are your little things like you glue to the side of the dent to pop it out using this tool. Let's see if I can pop this open real quick show you how it hooks. There, I got it. Um, this is your glued side that slides in right like so and gives you a handle to pull on and then this also comes with a little bottle for your cleaning solution of choice a microfiber cloth and a scraper to get those off of a couple vehicles i'm going to try this on first being my truck long haul um those of you that have seen past videos of it know that the whole side the whole passenger side is just beat to crap um, it won't pull the bigger dent out of the bed. I know that for a fact. I've tried to get that dent out already, and it's it's in there. And I haven't tried with this. I've tried with, like, actual body working tools, trying to push it out from the backside and everything else. It's stuck. I've got to get either a bedside or a bed for the truck. But these OBS Chevys, you know, this right here is in front of the crash bar, so I couldn't pop that out from the inside. Um, there's a little little one right here that you can kind of see. And then one here. These OBS Chevys are just terrible for these right here because see if we'll push, push it on the door handle like that. And then there's one here. I'm going to try to pull a couple of these little ones out. And then when we're done testing that, I'm going to walk over here to the Rampage and try to pull this big one out. But I don't know. I just don't know how well it's going to pull this. I might have to do this one the right way too. And then the Rampage also has a little one right here somewhere. Right in here that I'm going to pull out. Much like the rest of my fleet, most of these vehicles need a paint job. So I'm not too worried about messing the paint up. But this will also give you a good idea if this tool messes the paint up. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started and we'll see how it goes. All right, so... I so starting out, I'm going to hit this one. What this is, I, I've had this door panel off in here, and I can't push that out because the crash bar runs right here. So, you know, this, the bar actually did its job on this. All right, I got the glue gun warming up. There are no instructions with this at all. So, being pretty straightforward, I don't see the need for them, but it would be nice to know the difference between the glue sticks. I'm going to start with one of these black ones and then use one of the round plungers and one of the oval plungers to see which one kind of works better. I don't have any cleaner and I don't really care about the paint, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that number. All right. And we'll take and. It didn't take very long for this to warm up, maybe 30 seconds or so. We'll take and glue that one there. And we'll glue the oval one down here on the little longer bin. We'll let them sit for a minute. 
while I'm doing while those are curing. I'm gonna take one of these smaller oval ones and put down here on the door on the next to the door handle. And for those of you watching at home, be careful, this is hot. Alright, I'll give that a second here. Take our handy dandy pointer here. No, well, it didn't hold that great and it didn't pull that great. But, I'll try again. There may be a little bit of a trick to getting this glue off, too. Okay, I got that most of the way off. So we're gonna glue this one a little better this time. Then while I'm right here, just for funsies, I'm gonna take one of these real little ones that comes in it and hit this corner right here. Okay, I could almost see this working for smaller dents, but it's not working on the crash bar dent here. Yeah, I mean, it pulled it out some, but not enough to really write home about. The cool thing is these look like they're reusable. So that's a plus on them. Side. Let's try, I believe this was the next one I glued in. This one might actually have a little better chance of coming out because it's a small dent. Eh, it removed it some. That one actually pulled out quite a bit there. And I'll pull all this stuff off off camera. I've been informed that you use a hair dryer or a heat gun to get this off. That I, And I need to go get mine here in a second. All right, last one. Let's see if I can pull the door handle one out. This is one of the most common dents on an OBS Chevy. For obvious reasons all right so I couldn't really I'm having a hard time getting this stuff off so the black ones from what I can tell actually have a rubber base to them and you can't really see it here but it actually did pull pull some of that down out and it pulled a good amount of this one out if I were to sit here and actually work at it I'd say it'd pull this dent all the way out and from the look of it, it actually did this one too. But these black ones are kind of hard to get off here. So, Okay, so I found out I don't have an extension cord long enough to actually reach the rampage. So that's out for tonight. Um, I might come back to this because there's a couple other dent puller things I want to try. Also, the trick to getting these off is rubbing alcohol and a heat gun. You know, scrape all the glue off and then finish it off with alcohol. I really don't have time to finish it right this second. <laughs> or I, I more rush through it. As you can see, it pulled out. Where's the dent? 
Yes, it did pretty good. There, There's the top part of that dent. It pulled most of it out. This one's still kind of in there. And this one's where the plunger was. Pulled it out, but down here still. We also managed to find the instructions to this on Amazon with an identical kit. Uh, this kit right here. And one of the big reasons I didn't get the glue all the way off quickly, uh, I have Clorox wipes with alcohol in them. That's it. I can't find my rubbing alcohol anywhere. So as far as usability, this is a decent little kit. It, if you've got a OBS Chevy like mine, where it's got just the minor usual dents, stuff like that, it'd work great. As far as the bigger stuff goes, probably not. You might be at it a while. Um, be prepared to take your time doing this. So, with ease of use and price and all that, I give the kit 6.5 out of 10. Uh, the glue isn't the easiest to remove, is the big thing, and it doesn't pull the bigger dents. So, I'm going to start doing these videos more often. So, feel free to hit the bell and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers before October, or before September 22nd. There is a drag race in Sykeston, Missouri called No Name Nationals that I'd really like to go to. The plan is to take the Monte Carlo in the background over there. So I need y'all's help. Hit that bell. Subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok at Ethanol573. Facebook is 573 Racing, but I really don't post there very often. And Instagram is 573 Racing. And if you guys have any products you would recommend, uh, hit me up in the comments. Till next time.